This book I must have gotten in the very early 1960s when I was perhaps only five or six years old. And it's McCall's Golden Do It book. Crafts, Projects, and Activities for Boys and Girls from 6 to 14. Step by step drawings with easy to follow instructions. And I did so many of these over the years, really. Oh, 1964. Presented by the Easter Bunny. March 29th, 1964. Okay, so I was seven, I suppose. Six. Okay. About to become seven. And this is in very good condition, really. I was always really careful with my books. They, they hardly got damaged unless something really untoward happened. Yeah, that's my late mother's handwriting. I think she's dead. I'm not sure. The fourth printing, 1962. And it says, Adapted by Joan Wyckoff. Edited by Nan Comstock. And illustrated by William Dugan. Here's a note to parents and teachers, and a nice table and contents, crayons, paint, paper and paste, printing, sculpture, toys, weaving. I did a lot of these. I just loved this book. Needlework, dolls, music, puppets, gifts and a how-to section with things such as how to make a tracing, alphabets for tracing, script, script alphabets, alphabets on squares, how to enlarge and reduce designs, and an index. Now this says create with cast-offs. It says always check when mother's throwing something away. You may be able to put her cast-offs to good use. Oatmeal boxes are, are noted here. Paper towel tubes, soda straws, cupcake papers, leftover pieces of fabric, and wrapping papers. And this is a list of things to collect. Seashells, canceled stamps, broken crayons, all kinds of things. Shirt cardboard. just using um, cracker boxes and stuff like that and pencils and leftover printed fabrics and stuff to make this train. I don't believe I did this one. Paper bag play. I think I may have tried this actually. It looks kind of stupid but I may have actually tried it. You know, they have hats and puppets and stuff like that. A little village you can make. And it's got some patterns here to copy. And it lists the supplies you need. And they suggest it for under a Christmas tree. Christmas ornaments. Gay. I did do some of these. I really did. I made some pretty nice ones, actually. And some pretty terrible ones, <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, decorating boxes. You know, we really like this in my family. And my mother was particularly good at it. And she never minded uh, getting us some plain wooden boxes, and we had to sandpaper them and paint them 
and learn how to put stuff on them and shellac them. But you could also use, you know, cigar or candy boxes or cheese boxes or metal file boxes. And these are some of the designs. Tissue paper flags I never did, I don't believe. But I did learn origami from my father, who was very good at it. Mary Mobiles. I may have done that, too. See, there's fish and, you know, family portrait. Well, in my family, there would have been a jar of opium. Okay. How to make a pinwheel, party straws, playing with foil, making grape clusters and things. It's really funny. How to cover them and you're supposed to use them for package gift decorations. String pictures. That's kind of psychedelic. See, I don't remember if I actually did that. Uh, the kites? Yes. I did make kites, and I almost won a contest. I made a Japanese flying fish kite. This one. They were considering giving me a prize. It was down by the Nike station in Cleveland, Ohio, on the lake. And all of this stuff with the crayons, the resists, and everything and the scratch method and painting with wax I I did all of that I just loved it I like this the, the most the scratch method you color with crayons and then you cover it over with black crayon and then you scratch out what you want to draw with a stick and it's different colors masks you know we kids we used to do this sort of thing you know, paper plate masks. See, that's that's kind of scary looking. So is that. See, it shows you how to make them over a simple mold, how to make them over a clay mold, how to make papier mache, painting with seeds. I believe I did do that. Easy printing, like with vegetables. Cardboard, I don't believe I did. But I think I did potato printing. Printing with this and that. Using utensils and things. And, you know, some of these are really, really nice. I was quite impressed. And this was quite an inspiration to me. Quite a bit of my artwork is in a lot of permanent collections of major museums around the world. Block prints. And stenciling. I did that. I like these two horses. The vegetable things I thought was kind of dumb, so I didn't do this as far as I can recall. Add a stone sculpture. I think I did do this. You know, there's a, a rabbit made with some mussel shells. A little circus. No. Oh, yeah, I remember some of this stuff. See, these salt and starch sculptures, we did a lot of these over the years. My mother was really good at them. She did all these pink hippos for Easter. We had these little pink hippos for a, an Easter display. I wanted to do this one, but my father said no for some reason. How to make clay animals. and clay plus, like with pipe cleaners added and stuff. How to take berry boxes and make birds and fish and 
butterflies. It's got the pattern. Very nice. I would consider selling this book, Ice Cream Spoon Toys. Actually, we didn't even have ice cream spoons. We were so poor, so I didn't do that. Clothespin Fantasies. I don't think I did that either. I think the clothespins were too valuable. Spools to make things. Kachina doll. A spider or an octopus. A telescope. Very silly. See, it, it explains here about the Hopi Indians and the Kachina dolls. It's cute. A tugboat. So you get the idea. I'm skipping ahead now. This shows how to knit and shows patterns and how to make fringe. <clears throat> Very simple sewing, which I did enjoy, and I was required to take it in the eighth grade also. Embroidery for fun. I did like that. I know how to make lace by hand now. Holiday aprons. Kind of silly. But there are the patterns. Let's skip ahead. Redecorate your dollhouse. Oh, my parents made me the nicest homemade dollhouse. I really enjoyed it. Making your own musical instruments. Here's some nails and things and a paper plate tambourine and wrist bells and cardboard tutor and rhythm sticks, bottles, stuff like that, maracas, how to make drums and tom-toms. Paper bag puppets. <sighs> Paper plate puppets. Let's skip ahead. Spool and sock marionettes. Ah, some gifts. A little sewing kit and an old lipstick tube. I actually did that. I, I did it just like they show here. I cleaned out the lipstick container. And uh, it was a cute little gift, and of course I had one for myself. And a cleaning mitt. The tape measure belt I didn't try because my mother was always battling with her weight and always losing. She was on amphetamines a lot, but everybody was back then. They were called diet pills. Fiesta placemats with bias tape. How to make a paper mache piggy bank. Bookmarks made of felt. Ah, toys from old socks. See, there's an elephant. That's the patterns, and it takes you step by step. A lawn moker, uh, marker. Ah, the cigar band ashtray and the wildlife paperweight and the stamp box. I made this stamp box for my father and he kept it on his desk at work for years and years and years. He just loved it. There's some cheap jewelry. How to trace. I'm skipping ahead. See here are some alphabet things to copy. How to enlarge and reduce designs. Nice index. Pretty cool. Paper mache puppets. See, some of these get pretty elaborate. Here's the Native Americans we exterminated. Pretty funny. I did some of these. I made some of these. There's a paper doll you can make. I used to love paper dolls. I was a really queer girl. Let there be no doubt. T 
teaches basic knitting, shows the stitches, the steps. I did learn how to do this. I, I didn't like it too much, you know. So there it is. And I guess you can contact me if you want to buy this because it's just sitting on my bookshelf in my library. And it's it's kind of fun to remember how kids in Ohio in the 50s and 60s, in my case the 60s, would entertain themselves when the weather was bad, which it usually was in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, I just loved this. I really loved it. I played with it for years and years and years. My brother didn't have the patience, you know. Not every child is going to like this. But I think the parent, the parents might like it, and they might start doing it, and it might engage the child. I don't know. Okay, see you later. Bye.